Hello everyone, this is Irene, CMO of Konomi Network and today we are going to talk about cross-chain functionality which allow us to communicate with other projects on chain. So for Konomi, cross-chain enables us to interact with State Mint where we are able to support multi-currencies on our system. We would also like to interact with other projects on chains to, change, to exchange information or other currency related functions. And today I'm going to show you guys how our cross-chain functions works. So firstly, we need to confirm that we are now in the recipient chain. So it's native and zero. So it means we are using dot. Of course, we can redefine it to anything else we want to be. It's just a matter of convention. So you can see that the um, free balance in this account is zero. Now let's go to our sender chain. And let's use our currency module to do a cross-chain transfer. So we can choose either to send to State Mint or a Konomi test chain. But we will eventually interact with the statement in the future. And since we are now in the testing mode, we will be sending it to our internal test chain, which is Konomi test chain first. And of course, in the future, we can send to our partner chains as well. And now let's try to send to our Vula account. It's the same current, right? Both native and ID zero. Of course, it doesn't have to be 100% match, as long as on both chains there is a one common logic that can recognize the different currency on different chains, it's going to work as well. So for now, let's keep it simple, we just take it as native and zero. And now let's try sending one dot. The status right now is uh, broadcast, so we will wait for the block to be produced and now let's cut the waiting time. Yep, now you can see the status is in block. The block is being produced and our cross-chain transaction is accepted. Now let's go to the network to see the status. You can see the message is already sent. So the event is being published and we have the currency transferred. Let's go to the other chain now, the recipient chain, to see the chain state. Ah, the message hasn't arrived yet, so we can just safely ignore the previous messages. So we can see the block number is 17 and um, let's check our native 0. Oh yeah, you can see that now the free unit is 1, it used to be 0. So we can see that one unit is coming in. Now let's go back to Explorer. XCMQ. Q is success. Yeah, that means the cross-chain message is executed. That's all for today. So this cross-chain function will be available on our testnet soon. If you like this video and if you like our YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.